I think the most important thing to do uh, to win and retain trust is to keep promises. Uh, I think that when we put things in our manifesto, we need to stick to them. I think having multiple U-turns as a government is incredibly damaging and means that people don't know whether we say what we mean. And that's why I keep telling everyone that I am the candidate who tells the truth. Making realistic promises and commitments is one way to earn and build trust. But I also think in terms of demonstrating integrity, it's show, don't tell. No one stands as a dishonest politician, but we have to show that we are honest and straight with people. And we have to go above and beyond the standards that we apply to everybody else. I use the example of when I was vice chairman of candidates. And the first thing I did when I, became, when I took on that role was I threw my husband off the list because I didn't think it would look good. I was chair of candidates and he was applying for seats. I recognized that there was a potential conflict of interest there. And even though I wasn't required to, I took additional steps to show that this was something that I took seriously. In terms of uniting uh, the party and the country, for me, the most important thing is for us to stop calling ourselves leavers and remainers. That vote was six years ago. I think it's time that we moved on and remember that we are all one people and we're all uh, trying to, uh, to deliver on the same objective, certainly as conservatives. I see all of my colleagues, irrespective of how they voted in the referendum, as friends and as partners. I think we need to stop uh, calling, uh, looking at things by the view of North versus South, Red Wall, Blue Wall, Young or Old, or even England versus Scotland. It's the language of unity and inclusivity that matters. And that's what I will do if I'm elected as party leader.